Hello everyone. We hope you're having an amazing day today. 2022 has been a great year so far in terms of the new releases and the continuation of the existing series. Especially the streaming platforms such as Netflix had a blast of a year as many of their shows and movies receive remarkable audience reception. Many shows have come to an ending, which was sad. But also, since the endings were pretty epic, it didn't upset the viewers as much as we were simply glad to be a part of a fan community and experience the show as it is. Although we are thrilled to have such a successful year and feel so lucky, we also believe that based on the rumors and leaks we get, 2023 will be an even better year for the streaming platforms, especially Netflix. The platform is really smart about the series it chooses to invest in, which basically guarantees its success. One thing that Netflix manages to do is to proceed its successful shows to a satisfying level and then end it at their peak so that it doesn't get boring or blunt. This does make sense to ensure long-term success and make sure the fans stay loyal to the series. This also allows the platform to produce follow-up series, spin-offs, or even movies within the universe of the shows that have come to an end. In other words, instead of witnessing a show losing its popularity over time, it wraps up the series when it's still popular and turns this popularity into an advantage by releasing fresh content within the same universe that will keep the fandom dynamic and still interested in it. One of the series that has come to its end this year has been The Last Kingdom, one of the unexpected hits of Netflix that managed to gain a very devoted fandom and popularity among history lovers thanks to its successful portrayal of the Dark Ages. The show is based on a book series, but while the book series has a lot more material to follow, Netflix decided to end it at an early stage. This may sound like a decision that is taken in a rush due to the low ratings or something like that, but it's far from the truth. Instead, as we just explained, the platform decided to end it at its peak point. Although this was absolutely sad news for the fans, the platform also ensured that a follow-up movie is on its way, with the title, Seven Kings Must Die. The good news is that the filming of the movie is already completed. Seven Kings Must Die will be released around spring 2023 and it will follow Lutred of Bebenberg as the sole leader of Bebenberg. This means that we will witness an older, more mature Utrecht who managed to make his biggest dream come true. Now it's time for him to learn how to be a successful leader and keep his people stuck together. Of course, there will also be a lot of romanticism, political conflicts, and historical developments that make us the true witnesses of a mysterious era. We know that Edith will be one of the main characters of the movie, alongside Utrecht. We also know that Sonia Cassidy, who was playing the part of Ejifu, will not be present in the movie since she had other occupations at the time of the filming. It's with a heavy heart that I say no, because of a scheduling conflict. I had a blast on The Last Kingdom. I was a big fan of the show anyway, so it was really fun to kind of join those guys in beautiful Budapest. And I really liked that character, I really enjoyed playing Anjifu, but my time playing her was for season 5. Interestingly, her character, Ajifu, will be somehow present in the movie but will be played by yet another actress. What do you think about Seven Kings Must Die? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.